Well, Carolina Green is the company that did the, the, the surface for us, and they're a national uh, company that just happens to be based here in Monroe, North Carolina, so that's a, that's a good thing, number one. And we had some alums, uh, Greg Tucker and his company uh, helped us with some concrete and some asphalt work around the field, so uh, really, really good thing for, for, from those two companies. Uh, you know, it's just they lay down a base layer, they continue to, to improve the drainage system on these things all the time, and, and the product that we've got is top the line product. The fill that they do now with the rubber and the sand is top the line. Uh, really happy with the way the surface is playing because it's playing a little bit faster than what we were initially told uh, that it was going to play, and, and that's good because we're going to play on a lot of fast surfaces when we play you know, in warmer climates as the Conference USA season goes on. So. Uh, again, really happy with the way it's turned out, and uh, hopefully it lasts a long time for us. Well, uh, the first thing is they don't have to do as much field work as they used to in the past, you know, and, and uh, you know that's a good thing because, uh, again, we put together a proposal on the hours that we all were spending, and it was a pretty significant amount of time that was being spent on taking care of the field, and you can kind of probably hear our, our facilities plant guys, grounds guys that are helping and, and working on the field right now, and, and they've been a big part of it as you know over the years. But uh, to, to take that 30 to 45 minutes at least, uh, if sometimes not an hour before practice every day, and at least that much time on the back end after practice, and to take that away, it just allows us to be more efficient. It allows our coaches to be more efficient. Every day it allows our players to be more efficient with, with getting things done and, and, and getting getting ready for practice and then getting out of here after practice. So uh, they're really happy about that. Plus, it's playing the right way. Uh, they, they like the way it plays. Uh, and again, it allows us to get some work done that, that uh, we wouldn't otherwise get done under, under bad weather situations. Well, with the rules the way they are, you know, we got to be careful with all the, you know, the limitations and the hourly limitations. And, and we, we do a pretty good job, I think, of, of doing that and staying within the guidelines and the rules. Now, with that being said, uh, it's going to be good to get everybody out here all together, you know, from start our 20-hour period on Friday. The weather's supposed to be really good. Um, you know, we need to get a lot of work done. Uh, we've got a, a better group of guys uh, this go-around than we've had for a couple years uh, in terms of our talent level is a little bit better. Uh, we're a little bit more physically uh, gifted in some areas. We're physically stronger because we've had a full year of weight training. Uh, so, again, really excited, but we, we've got to watch pitchers' pitch counts. We've got to make sure that we get the defensive reps in we need to get in. Uh, we've got to try to get as many reps and, and at-bats for our position players as we can and go about trying to build the type of team that we want to have. Our guys understand it's a daily process. They, they understand that they have to show up and get their work done you know, day after day after day, and now we're going to be in a, in a six day out of seven days per week period by NCAA rules. So uh, they understand that. Uh, again, it's just a matter of trying to make progress each day. If you make, you know, 1% progress each day, then by the time we start playing, we're going to be uh, in a position where we can be competitive. And then the goal is to keep, you know, making progress as the year goes on. I felt we did last year. We, we made progress and got better as the year went last year. That's an encouraging sign. Um, you know, we're still relatively young, but we're not going to use that as an excuse. We only have three seniors uh, and just really excited about this group. And some of the guys that, that played a lot as freshmen and sophomores are now sophomores and juniors. And that hopefully will bode well once we start playing.